Hey, Mr. Deary coming to you. It is a Friday, March 27th. My son is here because he won't leave me alone and I love him to death for it. I, oh, now he wants to leave. And I want to talk briefly today about setbacks because I'm going through one. Um, and also going through something that's going well. So, you know, if you followed anything I've been talking about, it's about giving yourself incentives and goals and things that you want to accomplish and get done uh, in a timely manner and kind of give yourself some purpose. I got to keep an eye on my son, sorry. Give yourself a... Uh, a sense of purpose, a sense of balance, a sense of completion. And one of the things I'm trying to do is clean up my office, which I talked about, and kind of incentivizing myself before Sunday for that. Another thing I want to do uh, is get a new garden bed out back. Um, I do, like I talked about before, I do flowers. I've never really done vegetable gardens. I have the wood for it. It's in my garage. I want to do a time lapse of me building that. Um, and I, there's no way I'm going to be able to do that this weekend with the weather, with the rain and the wood gusts and all that. And I think I'm going to have a little boy come in here and, yep, hi, buddy. So how do I deal with those setbacks? How do I deal with the, I want to get this thing done and I want to get something accomplished, but I have obligations like making sure he doesn't throw himself down a flight of stairs. You're cute, but you're reckless. And that's to remember the situation that I'm in, to always consider the context, not to make excuses, not to look at the things that are my shortcomings or my failures, but to look at what's going on. Last night, I had a lazy night. I was not motivated. Uh, the, the day, the week, it just kind of caught up with me, and I took some time off, and I made zero progress in the office. And this morning, I woke up kind of frustrated and like, why are you so, why are you so beat up? Why are you so, you know, uh, this, that, whatever? Ah! And then I remember that, at least at this point right now, that I feel more rested and motivated because I took a little time off. Um, and I'm not trying to justify that. I'm not trying to say like, oh, you know, you deserve it, all this. But for me, I'm just, I was burned out. So my plan is for tonight. I know exactly what parts of the office I want to take care of. I know exactly what things I want to accomplish with my to-do list once somebody goes to bed here. I'm looking at you, buddy. And just remembering that there's other things going on. And while I definitely felt, oh, <laughs> Well, sorry. While I definitely fell short of that goal of getting some of the office cleaned, I managed to go out on a nine-mile bike ride today. I managed to make lunch for my family. I managed to get some other things done. Um, you know, it's four o'clock and our dinner is is ready to go for tonight, and I've got an hour I can just play with my kids um, and do some of those other things. So, I just want to encourage you when you acquire setbacks, think about them in context. Hey, buddy. Oh. That hurt. Thanks, buddy. When you get those setbacks and you just are struggling, I encourage you just to remember the context in which they occur. And remember why and how they did. Identify the problem areas, if there are any, and learn and adapt from them so you can be more successful moving forward. Tomorrow is obviously Saturday and then followed by Sunday. And we'll be back to school, in a way, on Monday. I'll have all these videos posted as well as the playlist for this, uh, that's not this channel, this little experiment I'm doing uh, on there. So I might do a time lapse over the weekend if the weather breaks and me building the garden bed. I might also not see you till Monday. So regardless, know that you are missed. Know that we're thinking about you, not just me, but your other teachers. We want nothing but the best for you. So take care. Good luck. Have a great rest of your day and a lovely weekend. Take care.